Hi friends! I went thrifting for the very first time a few days ago with my friend Molly. I ended up getting this vintage plaid skirt from the 60s slash 70s and I got super excited about styling it. So today I'm bringing you 10 different ways to style this skirt. As you can see, it hits me right under the knees and it fits really well on my waist. So let's just get started. So this skirt has a few different colors running through it. It has white, brown, red, gray, black, and almost a blue color. There's a lot that you can pair with it. This first look is very simple and modern. I paired the skirt with a white cropped tank top. It has little bows on the shoulder, which I think is really cute. I also added these white chunky platform shoes to keep the look pretty summery. Even though we are heading into fall, the south has uh, not gotten the memo and it's still very hot here. Also, I know that this top does not hit me right. The line is kind of giving me a uh, quad boob situation. Uh, you can just blame that on clothing companies not having inclusive sizing for girls who are bigger than a B cup. This is the look I imagined when I bought this skirt. Full on 70s vibes. I look like I'm about to go to the library and study, but like, in the 70s. I watched so much that 70s show growing up, and I just feel like this is something that Jackie would wear. She is my icon. Anyways, I tucked in the turtleneck so you can see my waistline. I paired it with some chunky black heeled boots. I also added a necklace so I don't look like a floating head, which tends to happen when you wear turtlenecks. Okay, this is number three, I guess, because apparently I can't count and I only filmed nine outfits technically. Uh, here I am struggling to put on some different boots. Uh, these ones are gray and I felt like it fit the 70s theme a little bit more and they're definitely easier to walk in than the black boots. Um, having comfortable shoes is such a non-negotiable for me, hence why I wear sneakers pretty much every day. Also, this is how the skirt looks when I pull it up to be more modern. I'm not sure if I want to crop this skirt yet. I kind of like the longer silhouette and I think it's a harder type of style to find nowadays than a short plaid skirt. I'm not sure if this look is too similar, but I think it looks more professional than a turtleneck and boots. I feel like a teacher or something in this outfit, even though I don't think any of my teachers wore anything like this. Anyways, I paired a silky cream colored button down shirt with the skirt. I tucked it in so I don't lose my waist. I also added some nude colored heels. I also tried to cuff the sleeves and open the neckline for a bit of a sexier look, but I'm not sure if it really did anything. Also, I am so bad at wearing heels and I'm not even trying to be like quirky here. I just have extremely wide feet and half the time I end up bleeding by the time I get home. So this outfit might not be entirely accurate for me, but I still think it looks cute. If you do have heels that are a neutral color and are comfy, I am jealous and definitely wear those. <laughs> I think I have been heavily influenced by TikTok with this outfit. I just paired the skirt with my Emery sweatshirt and my go-to white sneakers. This type of outfit is usually something I stay away from because it's a bit baggy and one of the only parts of my body that I am confident in is my waist, so I like to show it off, which is why I own so many crop tops. This completely hides my waist, so uh, I'm a bit uncomfortable, but I do think it looks really cute as a comfy college outfit. Here I am trying to show you what I would look like walking around on campus in this outfit and I'm clearly very excited about it. I'm finally adding in some red. As I said before, the skirt does have red running through it so I thought I would match it. Again, I'm kind of playing off that college theme but this time it's in a more vintagey way. This sweater is like a letterman jacket but in sweater form and it's giving off 50s vibes for some reason. I also added some red socks to match. I paired it with my platform docks to keep it looking cool and modern. Here I am bringing up the skirt again just to see how it would look with more of my legs out. Okay, this is a cool juxtaposition. Tell me I'm wrong. It's like an e-girl walked into the 60s. I am wearing this sheer black t-shirt with a bralette underneath. I tucked it in so you can see my waistline and I am wearing those same black docks as in the last outfit. 
This fit was so flattering on my body shape and I also just think it gave the skirt such a cool and modern twist. It's definitely a little daring for me, but I still think it's wearable. Also, no one warned me how overheated you get when trying on a bunch of different outfits and posing in the span of an hour. I was so sweaty. For this look, I kept it casual. I am wearing a long sleeved graphic crop top. I am wearing my usual white sneakers. The top ends right where the skirt starts, so I'm not exposing any of my stomach unless I lift up my arms. Overall, it's just very comfortable and wearable for day to day. For number nine, I went for a sexier kind of look. I paired a brown cropped tank top with the skirt. Honestly, the top just kind of looks like a bra on me, but I don't know, I think it looks cool and it incorporates the brown tones in the skirt. I'm not sure if this is the best outfit for my body. I feel like it might look better on someone who is more flat chested or maybe that's just me being uncomfortable in my own body. I really have to stop hating on my body in this video. I look great. I haven't worn these in so long, but today we're breaking them out. I don't think I've worn these since I was like 18. <laughs> this is the last outfit and thank God for that because I am losing my voice. I am wearing this sweet looking sweater with black bows. It's really hard to make them straight, but I tried. I paired the outfit with these thigh high black boots that I've had sitting in my closet for an eternity. I think it adds an interesting layer to the outfit. I thought the boots might look a little weird, so I pulled the skirt up once again. Then I realized that I look like a member of TWICE in 2018. As you might be able to tell, I was feeling pretty creative at this point. I was also just running out of clothes to pair with a skirt that weren't almost identical to previous outfits. Anyways, enjoy this clip of me attempting to take the boots off. I legitimately don't know how to get out of these. <laughs> Ow, I just hit myself in the face. Oh god, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you want to see more of me. If you liked it, leave me a thumbs up and maybe leave a comment. It's so exciting for me to see comments from subscribers. Anyways, I hope you're doing well and I'll see you soon. Bye.